The reading today is from Matthew chapter 15, verses 29 to 37. And it's the continuing story of Jesus traveling all over Israel, now moving away from the area of Tyre and Sidon. After leaving that region, Jesus took the road by the Sea of Galilee and went to the hills. When he was seated there, crowds flocked to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, dumb and crippled, and many other sufferers. They threw them down at his feet, and he healed them. Great was the amazement of the people when they saw the dumb speaking, the crippled strong, the lame walking, and sight restored to the blind, and they gave praise to the God of Israel. Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I feel sorry for all these people. They've been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away unfed. They might turn faint on the way. The disciples replied, Where in this lonely place can we find bread enough to feed such a crowd? How many loaves have you? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and there are a few small fishes. So he ordered the people to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and after giving thanks to God, he broke them and gave to the disciples, and the disciples gave to the people. They all ate to their heart's content, and the scraps left over, which they picked up, were enough to fill seven baskets. This is such a familiar story, perhaps it's worth digging into it a little bit in a different way. It made me think that there are many references to Jesus having meals, and therefore underlining the fact that he was truly human. We know that he ate at the home of Martha and Mary, when the sisters argued about who was doing all the chores. He visited Matthew's home and ate with him, which offended the Pharisees who considered that tax collectors were inferior beings. He attended a wedding at Cana, where his mother Mary realised that he had powers to save the party by producing extra wine when the hosts had run out. He celebrated Passover with the disciples at the Last Supper with a traditional Jewish Passover food. After his resurrection, he broke bread with the couple whom he met on the road to Emmaus. And on his return to Galilee, he cooked fish on the beach with the disciples after they had been out at night fishing. At the very same time, he is performing healing and miracles, which underlines that he is God with us. Imagine the scene on the hillside, where we hear that the friends of the sick people literally threw them in front of him for healing. It must have been like a pop concert or a football crowd. The effort of healing so many people must have been exhausting to our Lord. But instead of thinking of himself, he thought of the crowd who followed him for three days without sustenance. Now, however you might explain how so many were fed by so meager an amount of bread and fish, with the leftovers filling seven baskets, in other words, more than the original amount, the fact remains that 4,000 very hungry people were fed and satisfied. The whole point is that it was a miracle, another example of Jesus' unique power. The other phrase which we might notice is that Jesus broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, who then in turn distributed it to the people. He needed his followers to complete the miracle. And maybe is he is relying on us today. During the pandemic, we've been increasingly aware of families who are under strain because of the difficulty of finding enough food. 
this is a good time for us to continue to support them in any way we can by being disciples and sharing our food through food banks and other means. The three villages in the Benefits have all been sharing God's love in practical ways recently. A prayer. Lord Jesus, help us to be your hands, your feet, to bring comfort, love and care to those in our community who are suffering at this time. May they come to know your peace. Amen.